Well, we you know we played really well tonight uh, against a very good basketball team. The, the, the zone that Miami puts up is very difficult to to score against. You know they're long and athletic, and uh, and then because they play their slow tempo, which is what they should be doing, and obviously they have a great coach and Jim uh, putting them in that position. Uh, long possessions. So, you know, our depth helped keep up a good level of intensity on defense. Um, otherwise, they wear you out. And then if you don't hit shots, uh, you know, again, they've been, yeah, you know, I don't know if this is the first double figure loss they've had. And, uh, but I mean, they're right there against Syracuse and the game against Virginia Tech happened like a year ago, you know. I mean, they're a different team now. But I think they can beat anybody in our league. And uh, so, you know, very pleased with our effort. You know, Jabari was a beast on the boards tonight. He and Emil were terrific. For, and I think that the one stat that really stands out for me is our, our rebounding. You know, for us to out-rebound them like that was... Uh, was a key factor in us winning the ball game. So any questions that you all might have? In the last game you said attacking was kind of the main focus for Jabari. It was rebounding, something you guys gave him. Yeah, you know, uh, he, uh, I just think you're going to keep seeing, like, more things from him. You know, I, uh, you know these, it just, so much is expected of him. And, but he's not trained yet to do all these things, so he doesn't have the experience. So, you know, today, I, I, I don't know, we, we knew that in their zone, there's a chance for offensive rebounds, and because they don't fast break, you could go to the boards more. And, uh, but it's his defensive rebounding that was, I mean, you know, he and Emil had 10 offensive boards. You know. I will say this, Marshall, had two possessions in the second half. We had a block and a defensive rebound where you know, the game got chaotic with an intentional foul or we couldn't score for a while and we needed some stops and Marshall gave us two stops and um, those were big big plays but uh, you know Jabari again that's two really outstanding performances in a row. Because Emil is so good on the boards does that help challenge Jabari to be a little better? No I don't I don't I don't think they're in that. They, they, uh, I do think that when you see a guy like Emil's playing really well and having success there, it, sometimes it, you feed off of that. And the other thing is maybe they're trying to block Emil off, and now that opens it up for, for Jabari. But I don't know. Whatever's happened, I hope it continues to happen. Substituting on 05 with at the first stop and then keeping the pressure, the full court pressure, was that to kind of get the tempo going or to wear them down? Well, it's, you know, both. Uh, both, or to get them into their bench. And because uh, they're, I mean, they would like to play a half court game and so you can rest bringing the ball up and you can rest on offense for 20 seconds and then run offense. And we were trying to let them not rest. But uh, the last three games we've subbed like that. And, that's not what, like we're going to do all the time or you know, throughout a ball game. But we're, you know, we're subbing more because we're trying to pick up full court. We're going to get tired. We get tired. And, um, and hopefully they get the team we're playing against gets tired and our bench you know, is fresh. And, uh, but it, it makes the team go into their bench unless you foul a lot. And then you give them a rest on, you know, when they're, when they're shooting free throws. So it meant a lot for your former USA guys that come to the game. You know? Yeah, you know, I, I was, uh, Kobe was here and uh, LeBron, Dwayne. Uh, I didn't get a chance to talk to them. I, they, you know, I, I know they text and I knew they were going to be at the game. Uh, yeah, all three of those guys were on the, on the court when we won in Beijing. Uh, those last eight minutes against Spain. Uh, you know, Dwayne hit some big ones and a uh, four-point play by Kobe, and then uh, uh, and then in London, you know, Kobe and LeBron were on the court when we beat Spain 
for the gold medal. Yeah, and it was good to see Shane and Ryan Kelly, and they had a few of the, uh, his teammates from the Lakers. Kendall Marshall was nice to see him here, and uh, so no, that's those are great guys, and well, I, I appreciate them coming. LeBron was obviously excited to see you first, but it seemed like he was excited about uh, Jabari as well. Well, he, sh you know, like, you know when he Jabari takes off like that in full court. Uh, I'd like LeBron to show him how you don't lose the ball when you do that. <laughs> uh, but, uh, uh, one play where we were struggling and Jabari got that muscle, it was down to 15, they had just, Kirk had just hit a three. And you know, things can go, to, and Jabari had that ball in the middle, and he went right up and he kind of manned it up there. And because Jabari was right there, so not that I'm looking at LeBron. I'm not in a, like a LeBron watch or anything. <laughs> but it was in eyesight. You could see him, Dwayne, you know, go nuts. And because that's a big time, a big time play. Coach, what do you think it does for your for your guys, and even any college guys, to look out there and see these pro guys watching them? Well, it, first of all, they should appreciate it. And you know what, though, those guys like LeBron, Dwayne, Kobe. Over the last eight years, uh, along with Durant and Paul and Carmelo and all those guys, they've really set a great example of how you should play the game and how you should love the game. And I think it's filtered through all aspects of U.S. basketball now. Yeah, their kids are better. They appreciate the game better uh, at all levels. And it starts with those guys. They, they've been great role models for them. Did you think at all about last year's game? Yeah, about how we got killed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, they don't have the same team though. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm glad that I'm glad that <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see Larkin uh, and Kaji and those guys. But uh, you know, this year is this year, mm -hmm. and you can't play in the past. Can you convince LeBron to play in sixteen? In do you, do you think you'll be able to convince LeBron to play the next one? Oh, he's got a long way to go. I mean, there are a lot of good players. Who, I'm not sure he, you know. In 16? Well, on the next one, he's, on, he's going to be on the list tomorrow. Yeah. Obviously, he's a, yeah, can I'm, you convince him? I'm sure do? Paul George and Durant and those guys, uh, he's got a lot of growing up to do. <laughs> I mean, I, I had Kevin Durant on my XM show. It's going to be uh, aired next week. And, you know, we talked about USA basketball. And when he was 18, he, you know, after his first year as a college freshman, he was out in, in uh, Las Vegas and almost made the team. And it, it, he said it really helped him. Now, it, you know, Durant at that time is further advanced than any of the freshmen now. Come on. You know, we're talking about one of the top two players in the world. And uh, all these kids are going to be really good, but they got a long way to go before they get to that level. A lot of work, you know. You know, play every day. You know, Durant plays every day, and nobody loves the game more than that. That guy plays for the Heat, that James guy. You know, he he loves he loves basketball, and uh, that's along with their talent. That's what makes them so good. Coach, when you have a guy as skilled as Jabari, do you challenge him to dominate different phases of the game depending on the game? You know, he's a long way from dominating. You know, I mean, if you saw him. Two games ago, you wouldn't say he's dominating. He's he's in a he's in a process of getting better. You know, he played really well tonight, and he played really well in our last game. But you know, that that level of consistency is he's got to show that. Every player's got to be able to show that. And but the potential is there to be an outstanding player, and he was really good tonight. I mean, you know, 15, 17, and 15 is. In a in a low possession game, he's even um, he's even better. Anything else? Okay, thank you. Thank you.